forgot to tell you, last night we finished the Mint 400. We got fifth place. We got done at 2.30 in the morning. We were freaking exhausted. That's <laughs> so this morning we got up, we had 75 hard to do, and we had some showers to take and things to get ready to hit the road. Because today, we're driving to Hemet, California. And we have a very big surprise for what we're going there for. So, let's go. So we told you that we were going to meet someone special. And I think you might just know who these guys are. Chris and Wes, we're back. Good, how are you? Good. What's up? What's up? You We're back. <laughs> awesome, man. How are you? <laughs> Super cool. All right, guys, so we made it here. We're up in Hemet, California, and we are doing a roof raise on this bus. Chris and Wes already got started. And so now I'm going to jump in and get to work. So as you can see, Wes is cutting the channels out. Chris has been busting all the rivets out all the way throughout the bus. The windows has been removed. Fellas, how goes the job? Doing good. Got it, uh, first thing this morning, we leveled the whole bus up, got it shored up, up on the uh, wood and everything. So the whole bus is level front to back, side to side. And then uh, while I was kind of prepping, getting tools ready, Chris pretty much took out every one of these windows, got, it, got them ready. And, uh, then started drilling rivets out while I'm trying to get everything else set up and get the tooling ready to finish the job. So yeah, and Jen got from up there to she got all these, didn't she? Yeah, so she Jen, the, Jen actually side. took the air hammer here, and Jen actually did the whole whole driver side. Awesome. Nailed them all out or knocked them out with the air hammer. Awesome. So, uh, she did great, man. <laughs> so oddly enough, we talked about this just the other day, but. We might add a bunch of people to the team, and when we all come together, we just like to get a bunch of stuff done. I'm gonna dive in with these guys. Let's see what we can do. So as you can see, Wes has the raise, roof raised material welded in. We got all of the pop rivets out. Now he's cutting and grinding all the hatch channels. And he is extremely happy about it. <laughs> That's right. So that is actually a wrap for day one. I apologize. Tonya and I basically traveled from Cal or from Vegas all day. We got up late because we did the Mint 400 yesterday. I mean, it's it's been crazy. And so I uh, just wanted to kind of wrap day one up. I showed you, you know, busting the rivets, cutting the H channels or hat channels and welding in some of the things so that we're ready to go. Tomorrow we will be a little more video. They were ahead of the game. They were already knocking a bunch of stuff out. So that's the end of day one. Let's see what day two brings. All right, guys, day two is about to get underway. I just ate some breakfast. Wes is looking around for me right now. So let's jump out. I'll show you a little what we did yesterday, a little recap, and then let's get started for today. So yesterday before we got here, Wes and Chris 
leveled the bus out completely so that it is level and flat and that way the walls and the ceiling and the roof will all be level and flat after they leveled it they removed all of the windows so that they could start popping all them rivets then they welded in some raising mechanisms. First thing we're going to do today is pull the skin in, tack it on to the hatch handles that way we don't lose these or the structure while we are working on it. Next thing we will be doing is cutting every single one of them hatch handles throughout the entire bus. It's a lot of them. And then Wes is going to start the transition up here and do all of his metal magic. So up the ladder we go. <laughs> what do you think, Wes? It's getting cloudy. <laughs> so, Wes has been out here working on all the transition pieces. He's using some construction paper and some tape and as you can see it's parts poster of poster board it's poster board poster board not poster board. not railroad not board not railroad board <laughs> that turns out is some Plastic. other project this is poster board get it at your local office supply store <laughs> where do you get the blue masking tape you get that at your local uh, big box store perfect <laughs> where do you find the guy that makes the template for your transition I'm right here. <laughs> Found him! <laughs> then on the inside, we're welding these channels in because the window used to be here and that's where all of the uh, doohickeys go through. So now we have to make a whole another row for all the rivets to go through now. So welding all them solid, getting them all in place. We're about to start putting tin on. We are going to call it for day three. Let's have a look, a little recap. The transition is completely done. The pieces are laying over here, so they are cut and ready. Almost all of them angles are put in and welded back up. Things are cleaned up a little bit. We got some rain possibly coming in, so we're just kind of picking everything up. It's getting dark on us, but it is definitely moving forward for three days i would say we are absolutely killing it what do you think i think it'll look pretty good once it's done but right now it's kind of in the ugly stage yeah in the ugly stage we'll see what we can do tomorrow all right guys day four, four. day four um finishing some things up this morning it's supposed to rain all day but we got a little sun so i jumped out here hopefully we can get all of these finished up being welded i only have like five and a half more to go so if we can get them done we can definitely start hanging tin as long as the rain holds out and then we'll be able to do the transition to the roof as the tin's going up and we are making extreme headway what are you up to today Today, I'm going to clean and work on some video editing. For you guys? Yeah. So, we'll show you what we got going on today. All right, guys, all the hat channels are welded in. All the angles above the windows are welded in. Now, they are drilling all the holes for the rivets in the angle. about it might rain. It's been raining cats and dogs. But Chris has his handy dandy Alaskan rain gear on and says, it ain't that bad, I'll drill anyway. And Wes and I are smart enough to stay under the roof of the bus. Good morning 
beautiful people the beginning of day four and today we have sun so we should be able to get a bunch done don't let me get you in the wrong direction we've already got a bunch done so all the tin has all the screws up almost done with the passenger side we'll get the driver's side all buckened up today and Wes already has all the patterns drilled and made to go in our giant transition hole and we will be in pretty decent shape. All right, so as we have all the holes drilled, we're gonna do the front two ones first so that Wes can start doing the transition. So we're just pushing it out right now, putting the Sika Flex in, gonna pull it in tight and start putting rivets in. We're already putting tin on. So Wes is up here, literally tack welding the entire top transition piece, both top and bottom. All by himself. How does that make you feel? It making me feel very good. Very good. Very good. It's very hot today. So we have our hats on. We got the sunshine and no rain today. And we're up on the roof uh, doing a bunch of welding and getting it all put together. And uh, we hope we get a bunch of it done today. And it's going to be so nice. And uh, why do we wear hats? We got our hats on our heads because we're bald headed. And, uh, <laughs> we got none of the hair. Yeah, we don't have any hair to get the sunshine off. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the hats. He's clearly losing his mind. It's what happens when you weld all day long. And here I am inside this thing all by yourself. And you just can't. There's nobody around to talk to you. You're in here by yourself. Day four, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Here, yeah, day four, wrap up. Well, we got a bunch of tin on. We got the transition welded on. Tomorrow, we should be done. Five full days with three guys. My wife is making a beautiful dinner. Hi guys. Next to our beautiful table. What you making? I am making a beef pad thai type stir fry. Awesome. Yeah. And I am going to go jump in the shower in Chris's bus. It's time for a shower. Catch you tomorrow. All right, guys. So day five today uh, is finito. This is the beginning and the end of day five. Uh, yesterday, we spent the entire days in the bus as it was raining. And we basically took the day off because we had a ton of water. So with that, today we the road washed out. yeah today we kind of finished up the panels in and out in between rainstorms. So I didn't have the camera equipment out too much, but all we have left is this little piece, the back, and this little piece. But if you thought like I'm kidding about the rain, this is not normally here. This is a giant, giant cut into the into the road and stuff. This is the property that we're at. And then the freaking road got completely washed out last night. Those are like three foot deep divots that people have been driving through them. We had some sinkholes pop up out of nowhere. Like we had torrential downpour. So, like I said, in between, we ended up getting most of the tin work done. Tomorrow, we finish up with the two sides in the back, and this roof raise is finito. That's it for day five. Catch you tomorrow. All right, guys, we are at day six, is what we're calling it. <laughs> Got the back going up now. The side, the two little side pieces are already cut. I'm ready to go. Everything else is installed. We just have that little bit left. And we're calling it day six, but realistically, we only worked a few hours yesterday because of the rain. Seems like we're only gonna work a few hours today. So I think we're actually gonna finish it up in about five hours, uh, or five days, I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, Wes is up there drilling a few more holes. <laughs> what do you got for today?
That's slang talk for we're just about done. Last one. Last one, dude. That was a freaking last one. High five. Woo! Oh, yeah, man. That's freaking amazing, dude. First roof raise Sweet. under my belt. This okay. guy's been building them with his eyes closed. Yeah, but, uh, man, I'll tell you what. You've been a heck of a help. I couldn't have did it without you. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you, From man. From my heart, brother. Thank you. Hell yeah. <laughs>